I'm gonna try, I'm gonna try and recover from what will be a terrible mistake is installing Tahoe on a 2015 MacBook Air that doesn't have support in OCLP. So I'm gonna try my same downgrade process um, that I did from Sequoia to Ventura. And uh, yeah, we'll see how that goes after this installs and uh, messes up my laptop. Alright, to uh, downgrade from Tahoe to Sonoma, um, hold down the option key, start up your laptop, and this should work on Mac Silicon, Apple Silicon, newer ones. This is an old MacBook Air. Um, you'll just pick the install Sequoia if you're not using an unsupported Mac. If you are using an unsupported Mac, we'll go into EFI boot, and then we'll open up the Sequoia installer. We'll just give that a few minutes to load. All right, so uh, once you're in here, we're just gonna open Disk Utility. And then you will see your SSD or your, your local storage. Um, this is the boot USB. Uh, that's also the boot USB. So this is your main data drive, so you'll have whatever your drive name is, dash data, and then the OS system. So um, you'll just want to delete the system volume and you'll double check your APFS system volume. Um, this contains the operating system only. So we're just gonna erase it. And we're only gonna delete the, the volume. If you delete the group, your data is gone. So it's gonna ask you to confirm again. So same same deal, you just wanna delete just the system volume. And that'll take a few seconds. Okay, and this is, so what you'll have left is your data drive. So whatever user data you had is still going to be on your drive. So. Right now we're just gonna quit and then we'll go into the installer for Sequoia. And then just go through the install process. This will take about half an hour, um, depending on the speed of your system. Um, some things I did find when testing this, um, there might be some weirdness for your dock. You'll have to go back in and just reset your dock settings, especially the auto hide. Um, also, the launch pad isn't called launch pad anymore. Um, Tahoe used something called apps, and that just shows as a question mark on your dock. Um, to get the launch pad back, you just have to go into your applications and install, drag the launch pad icon back to your dock if you use it. Okay, so here we are going to just install it to our data volume, or to our main drive, I should say. And then this process will just run for a little while, depending on the speed of your machine. Um, and then when it reboots, you'll be back into OS Sequoia. Um, <clears throat> I can't test Tahoe very well because I don't have a supported Mac for Tahoe, but I assume it's gonna be the same as downgrading from Sequoia to Ventura or anything like that. Um, your Photos Library, your iCloud, your iMessages, all of those you'll have to sign into again. Uh, your photos library in particular, um, same with iMovie if you use any of those. Um, those often get upgraded to a newer version once you upgrade OS. So you're going to have to start with a new library again. So make sure you have that backed up or you're aware of that before you go through this downgrade process. Um, that's all I've found in terms of caveats. It's about the same as my last video. But Anyways, I hope this helps and I will come back after the install finishes just to wrap it up. All right, so we're back. Um, yeah, so we're back down to 
Sequoia. My, in my installer had 15.5. Um, these question marks, this is what I meant by, so Tahoe doesn't use Launchpad, they call it apps. Um, so you'll see these question marks for any programs that were deleted. Um, in my case, you have if you do have OpenCore or you were using OpenCore on an unsupported Mac and need it to revert, um, you'll see the patcher is removed. So you'll need to just reinstall that from your USB drive. Uh, but yeah, other than that, you should be good to go. Like I said, if you used, um, if you used photos, um, iMovie, anything like that, that relies on a library, that will all need to be downgraded. Um, you'll need to create new libraries and kind of start over from scratch. So just keep that in mind uh, before you upgrade or try Tahoe. And if you need to downgrade from Tahoe, um, make sure you just make a time machine backup. Um, the intent of these downgrade videos is that it is temporary. Tahoe is very new. A lot of people either like it or they don't right now, but as Apple works to improve the OS in subsequent releases, um, it should get better and then you can go ahead and upgrade again. Thank you for watching and like, share, subscribe. Let me know if you have any questions. Thank you.